Welcome back to Hardcore 100. It's day 12, and we're going 100 days in Hardcore Minecraft. It is day 12, isn't it? Yeah. Day 12, I had to check there for a second. It sounded weird when I said it out loud. Uh, okay, so I've made an executive decision in between episodes. Um, last episode, we found a village over uh, yonder. I think just on the other side of that hill there. Oh, sun setting. Time to sleep. Uh, but the executive decision I made is... Uh, we're going to live here. We're going to live right here. <laughs> right by this uh, shipwreck and that shipwreck and that shipwreck. And um, I like it here. And I think even though we have a village close by, we don't need to live there. We don't need to live in the village. In fact, we should build a nice little starter house right here by the side of the ocean. And um, I think that will be really good. Uh, this is a good biome for it. Um, I think, yeah, there, there are some things we should do here, though. Um, so one of the things I'm doing is I'm uh, cooking some of the food that we got in the last episode. Uh, is that going to be enough fuel? I'll put, I'll put one more coal in. Um, we need to start getting some ender pearls. I think this episode we're going to go explore the village for sure. Um, but there are some things we can do here at the base um, that will help set us up. Uh, for our long-term goals. And so one of those things is we should plant this single piece of bamboo <laughs> right here. And when it grows up, we should spread it and spread it and spread it. And we'll be able to use um, the bamboo to make wood blocks. And also, I think if we start like a bamboo farm, we should be able to get so many sticks <laughs> to trade at the village because we're going to bring, uh, let's see, let's, let's bring two flint... Um, actually, we can make a cartography table before we even head over there. We'll just make it right now because we're definitely going to want a cartographer to trade with. Um, we can also plant down... Uh, let's make an area. Let's see, maybe under the shade of this tree here. Uh, I was going to say over by the ruined portal there, but maybe not by the ruined portal. Uh, let's just make an area over here. Uh, yeah, let's dig out some of the sand, actually, because I might want to use the sand for glass anyway. So let's just dig out, oh, I don't know, just some weird shape here. And then we'll put in uh, some of this soul sand, and I think we'll start growing it. Because we might be able to trade a s nether wart to a cleric, I'm thinking. Did I say soul sand? Uh, this is soul sand right here. We're going to put this down. And we're going to grow nether wart on it. Uh, looks like I can do 10 more. So this this will be kind of a pretty big nether wart farm over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so it's good. We're starting some early farms. Uh, yeah, I think if we're, if we're going to live here, we're definitely going to want uh, something, something to do with our time when we're in this area. Uh, I've got two left. Let's go ahead and put them here and here. Okay, take the sand, and then uh, we only have 13 nether wart, but uh, as it grows, we'll be able to harvest it and plant more. Uh, for now, let's just get down uh, whatever we have on us. There we go. Very nice. We got an ad Was that an advancement we got for that? What was that? A seedy place. Oh, that counts as a seeding, seedy place. Yeah, we don't... We haven't farmed anything yet, but that that's uh, another thing that we should do while we're over here is start our own little farm. Uh, do we have any cobblestone? Uh, we have a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a stone hoe. I think we could probably afford... Uh, oh, I can't. I need... What am I missing? Sticks, probably. Yeah, let's just make some sticks. Um, yeah, let's make... Uh, we could afford an iron one. Let's just make a stone one. Stone is easier to get. Uh, I just don't have a lot of it uh, at the moment, but it is really easy to get. Uh, let's see, if I stick, let's see, oh, this is going to be probably the bamboo farming area. So where do I want to farm crops? Probably over here somewhere. So let's go in a few blocks and put in uh, water. Take that dirt block back. I'm just going to set up some farms real quick, but don't worry, we will get over to that village in this episode because I want to explore um, and see if we can get, uh, oh, let's... Uh, Mine up these furnaces here. It looks like our food is done. I'm going to just put the food away for now. Um, where's the pork chop? 
chops. Actually, I'll keep the pork chops on me, but we're going to keep the steak in reserve for now. And uh, go ahead and give me some carrots and potatoes. I think that's what I'm going to start farming here, although I do want to do pumpkins as well. Uh, also, if you give me this, if I take this uh, stair that we got from some shipwreck, I can waterlog the stair and then... Uh, but well, we should probably also grow wheat here. So it's good that I'm getting wheat seeds. I didn't even think about that. But we're going to need wheat seeds. Uh, wheat, carrots, and potato. I think that's all we're going to do. And, and eventually we'll do the pumpkins as well. I might wait though and do a pumpkin farm a little bit later. What's this? I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, but it's not bothering me right now. So I'm not going to fill it in yet. Okay, let me get some more wheat seeds here. That should be a good number. And then we'll... Let's see, this, this goes out four, I think. One, two, three. Uh, so let's just do four. Uh, oh, it, it goes out four this way too, right? You can make a square, I think so. So yeah, I'll make this as big as possible. So that one, two, three. Okay, this, this is how big I can make it. I also need some light here. So I should put some torches maybe at the edges. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe here? Yeah, maybe every corner could get like a torch. That'd be great. And it would help me with the spacing too, to remember uh, how big the, the hydrated soil blocks can be, how big of an area we get around the water source. Uh, okay, that's a good start. Let's go ahead and plant in some wheat in the middle. And I think if, is it still a thing in Minecraft where if you alternate the rows, uh, is it true that you get um, the crops grow faster? <laughs> I, I think I've heard that somewhere. Okay, let's plant down the carrots that we have. Yeah, we're going to get some farms going here. Um, let's do carrots here on the edge. And then let's do a row of, let's see, so carrots, wheat. Let's do potatoes next. Okay, there, that's good. And then, so carrot, wheat, carrots, wheat, potatoes. So that'll be the repeating pattern, I think. So we'll plant carrots here. We already have wheat there. And then this row here will be potatoes again. Um, but it looks like we're out. So what was it again? Carrots, wheat, potatoes. So I have two carrots left, but they would go uh, carrot, wheat, potato, carrot, wheat, here, <laughs> right here. All right, so we'll let those crops grow up. Uh, eventually, we'll get a good return on this. Um, but I'm not going to expand the farm until then, until we get some more crops growing. Uh, the bamboo is not growing as quickly as I would have expected. <laughs> uh, that's fine, though. Um, let's see. Let's eat some more chicken. Uh, the nether wart, though, is growing pretty quickly. Um, eventually, we'll use the moss... But not yet. Uh, we have a lot of paper. I wanted to make a brush, but I guess I can wait. Oh, here's four more seeds. Uh, let's get rid of the dirt. Let's plant these seeds down. Uh, where's our rows of wheat? I think wheat goes here after the carrots, right? Oh, why, why did this one turn back into not hydrated farmland? <laughs> Does it just do that if you don't plant something there? It might do. I'm not sure about that. But let's plant. Uh, let's put some light back in this corner as well. And we have one more seed we can put down. There we go. Oh, okay. There goes the bamboo. I was I was getting worried. <laughs> okay, so the bamboo is growing. That's great. Um, let's see. We could probably get rid of the gold for now. Just to have a little bit more inventory space. I'm going to keep the blaze rod on me, though. Uh, eventually, we'll get some more arrows, but I'm going to get rid of the spectral arrows. And uh, everything else I think we need to keep and bring with us. Um, I'll, I'll just put the hoe in the chest for now. Um, where'd my other armor trim go? I had dune armor trim. Okay, there it is. I see it. Yeah, let's stack those down here in the corner. Um, okay. Yeah, we're in good shape here. I like it. Good things are happening. <laughs> uh, we'll do pumpkin farm later. I already mentioned that. So I guess there's nothing left to do but go visit the uh, village now. Um, is there... Is this is this already grown up? 
I well I got two back from it so I guess it was grown Th these ones don't look quite grown yet I think yeah, I'll just leave them when I come back I'm sure that they will have grown enough to uh, to replant I should also put maybe uh, uh, actually do I have any slabs I have one slab um, let's make some slabs some slabby doos uh, let's make this many and then I want to make a barrel. How do you make a barrel again? <laughs> I think I need more planks, uh, which means I also need more wood. Uh, it's okay. We're going to get more wood soon, as soon as the bamboo starts growing. Okay, is that a barrel? Okay, good. That's a barrel. Uh, let's make one more barrel for crops. Um, since there are no villagers in this area, we can um, we can keep our the crops that we harvest in these barrels here. So I'm going to put one there, and I'll put one over here by the um, nether wart. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, it's almost time to sleep, and then we got to go check out this um, village. Not yet? Surely I can sleep, right? Uh, okay, I couldn't see the sun fully because it was behind the boat, but yeah. It's definitely time to sleep, which should bring us up to day 13, 14, day 14. Wow, so fast. Okay, we need to take the bed with us. Uh, let's take our crafting table. Um, some of this stuff we can leave behind. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I need a lot more wood. For some reason, I used all. I used almost all my wood up now. Um, in fact, has this grown sufficiently? Can I... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, it'll go faster if we can get more than one growing at a time. So I'll plant down some more bamboo. Um, I, can also, I can also afford an anvil now. Um, so let's go ahead and make one of those because I want to make one of those eventually anyways. Okay, three of those and then it's four of those makes an anvil very good and I think we'll just keep the anvil in our inventory for now I don't have a big a big use for it at the moment uh, what else what else what else uh, no we're in pretty good shape here let's go over to the village without delay I wish I had a horse because we have a saddle um, if I can find a horse around here we might want to tame it um, I guess we'll do that later. That all with me. All right, off to the village. I hope we get something good here. Um, I guess what I'm hoping for the most is a brewing stand because then I don't need to waste one of my blaze rods on a brewing stand. Uh, but if there is not a brewing stand in this village, I will do it because we need to get an ender pearl trade. Okay, we're almost to the village now. Okay, I don't really know what to expect here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and you know what I haven't done yet is I, I haven't dyed my bed. <laughs> it's still white from when I crafted it. Let's go ahead and make a red bed. If we change our mind, we can always re-dye the bed. That's one of the good things about uh, the newer Minecraft updates that they changed is you can, you can re-dye your bed now if you don't like the color. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. Ah, I didn't want to fall in. <laughs> I just wanted to look in. <laughs> I let go of shift too soon. All right, we've got a house up on the hill. It has barrels. Um, I will take these barrels, but I don't want a uh, fisherman in this village. So uh, we do have a chest here, however, with some coal, which I will take. And I guess I'm collecting wheat seeds. The fish can stay. Uh, I don't like it up here. Let me get back down though. Uh, the rest of the village is where it's at. Okay, we've got some coal. Ooh, I don't like the looks of this crevice here. Let's light it up a bit. It could be a little bit too dangerous in here. Uh, so close to the uh, village. All right, let's light it up over here as well. Uh, okay, there. And then I kind of want to grab some of this coal. Um, but I think I'm going to do it with the iron pickaxe for a while. Uh, just to save the durability on that pickaxe for when we really need it. Most likely we'll use it for the end. 
And we'll probably want to enchant it at some point as well. All right, we've got a little bit more. Oh, there's an iron golem. And I see hay bales. We can start mining those up. I should have brought my hoe with me, I guess. Uh, and there's horses here. Of course there is. <laughs> now I wish I had my saddle. Uh, okay, we're fine. Let's go see if what kind of loot we can get here. Um, I really like the biomes in the background here. It makes for kind of a cinematic landscape. Uh, okay, we've got a chest. Uh, give me this whole chest. I like everything in it. And uh, you guys don't need it. Uh, I do not see a cleric. I don't think this is a cleric here either. Ooh, I like that chest. Give me everything inside. Uh, did I pick everything up, really? I guess it all stacked in my inventory. Um, but my inventory is full. We are almost up to a stack of torches, which is nice. Uh, yeah, there's going to be horses here. This is a good village. Uh, okay, one more house over here I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure it's also not going to have a, a brewing stand in it. It doesn't look like a, a cleric type of house. Okay, what do we have here? A ladder and nothing else. <laughs> Okay, what a useless house. Um, well, I guess we're gonna we're gonna use this village, but we're kind of stuck here. Um, we're gonna have to make our own brewing stand, unfortunately. Um, but we do have farmers, so we can definitely trade all the hay bales. And I see some other pumpkins over there as well. Um, all right, let's just start mining up some of these um, hay bales then. Uh, should I make a should I make a new hoe for that? Or just punch him? Yeah, we're going to make a new hoe. <laughs> Eating this chicken will save us a little bit of inventory space. So I think I'll eat the bread next. And let's go ahead and make a new stone hoe. Yeah, let's make a stone one. Uh, there. And then that'll be a lot faster way to uh, mine up the hay bales. Uh, do I have... In okay, yeah, I have an inventory space... So the uh, hay bales can stack in. Um, let's see, there are sheep here. Uh, I could make some shears and uh, shear the sheep and make some more beds so that the villagers will breed. That is something I would like them to do is expand their population. I also need to set down the, uh, the fletching table I brought, but I'll wait until I get the hay bales mined up first so that we can do all our trading at the same time. Yeah, it's a shame about the brewing stand, really. Uh, there might be another village in the savanna over there. Uh, I guess we could explore to see if that might be worth it, actually. To see if there's a um, brewing stand. Because mm, I really, I really want to, <laughs> I really want to save the um, the blaze rod we got. Because it was not easy to get them. And uh, I don't fancy going back to that... Uh, Nether fortress anytime soon. It was hard to get to. We had to make a really sketchy bridge, and uh, even the the blaze spawner was pretty inconvenient as well. All right. I just thought a thought just occurred to me. Once I get all these hay bales mined up, uh, let's see. Okay, I have enough inventory space, but um, I'm probably gonna have to clear my inventory a little bit to do any trading. And also, I don't have a lot of wood yet to trade with a Fletcher, so I can make a Fletcher. You know, I can leave the Fletching table here. Um, but I'm not going to be able to do much more than just lock in the trade I want. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of sheep here. Uh, maybe I should put one of the chests down. Um, somewhere near the center of the village. Let's see, where do you guys hang out? Is this the middle? Oh yeah, there's the bell right there. Okay, so we'll stick a chest over here here uh yeah kind of hidden a little bit hidden and we'll dump some things in the chest real quick i need the inventory space um so that i can oh let's put your let's put the fletching table over here um also is there enough light here let's see i'm not sure that there is actually let's put a torch here uh we'll put one here over here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to light this place up a little better. I think it's going to be dark here. Um, so I'm going to have to just keep sleeping the night, I think. 
um, to keep the villagers safe. Uh, all right, is it time to trade some wheat? Let's see. Okay, I got... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they picked up my wheat. <laughs> Stupid villagers. Uh, okay, let's see if we can trade. This guy does not have wheat, but he has carrots. What's this guy got? Okay, I want these trades, uh, but I need to reset, and I don't have room in my inventory. Okay, let's clear some inventory space. Uh, we can do this, and uh, let's get rid of this for now. Okay. And then I need to pick up this composter and reset it, unfortunately. I like the trades they have, but I need somebody to trade wheat. Uh, let's see. So someone come be a farmer. Okay, you. <laughs> I don't want beetroots, though. I, I like the wheat. I don't like the beetroots. Uh, let's move this, actually, to down here. All right, you're a farmer again. Those are not the right trades. Hey, you need to get this right, because there's only so many villagers in... Okay, we've got potatoes. Uh, watch out, guys. I'm trying to do something here. Someone be a farmer. Okay, perfect. Uh, wrong trades. You, don't worry, you'll get this right eventually. Uh, let's see, which farmer are you? Okay, that's the wrong trades again. Oh, the sun's going to set soon. Let me get my bed ready. Oh, it's already on my hotbar. Okay, are you going to be the farmer now? You are. But you have the wrong traits. <laughs> and the sun is going to set, and then they're going to all go to bed. Yeah, they've, they've already lost interest here. Okay, let me clean up this area a bit. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to sleep as soon as I can. All right. Get rid of the seeds. Um... Uh, okay, I have enough room in my inventory for the rest of this wheat. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's sleep. And let's check the day again. It is day 15 of 100. Alright, where are my villagers? Um, I need to get some sticks ready as well. Let's see, let's make all this into planks and then... Uh, okay, so I have enough sticks to lock in the trade. Um, I can also buy arrows, so that's fine. I have emeralds, yes. All right, so now it's just a waiting game. Wait for the villagers to finish being stupid. Okay, what? what which farmer are you? Uh, I don't know, but that's not the trade I want. So let's reset it. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, no, 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 not perfect. <laughs> villagers, am I right? Okay, someone be a farmer. We have uh, the Fletcher over here, and he has the trade I want, so let's lock that in. Uh, in fact, we'll just sell all of our sticks and buy a few more arrows. Uh, how many can I hold here? No, that's it. So I'll have to wait until I get... Oh, I can sell a few more sticks. I want to level the Fletcher up all the way if I can. All right, he just leveled there, and then, yeah, as expected, we have the bow trade next. Uh, so I'll come back for the Fletcher, but for now, I need to continue trading with... Okay, this this will work, because uh, we can do potatoes. I would have preferred carrots and wheat, but I think I'm okay with wheat and potatoes, since it's one of the crops we have available to farm. Uh, and he also has pumpkins! That's absolutely perfect. We can start a pumpkin farm now. As long as we keep this guy safe and trading. Alright, he's locked up the trades on me, but let's give him a minute to interact with his workstation. And we should be able to trade the rest of our wheat away. Okay. Oh, uh, we do have a few more sticks in here. Let's pick it up. Yeah, in fact, we can put a lot of, a lot of this stuff back in our inventory. <laughs> I just was trying to make room for the wheat. Okay, uh, is that an interaction? Yes, we can trade the rest of our wheat now. Okay, I think that's it for the wheat trade. Uh, we have over a stack of emeralds. Do I make a brew stand? Do I make a brewing stand? Or do I explore for one? That is the question. Okay, let's do some math real quick. <laughs> do, let, let's do some math together uh, to get to the stronghold. We need to, okay, to open the end portal, we need potentially 12 Eyes of Ender. 
So that is six blaze rod, right? We have eight blaze rod. So how many eyes of ender is it going to take to find the stronghold? Because that leaves two blaze rod, which is four blaze powder, which is only four extra eyes of ender. I, I don't think we can afford the brewing stand. Um, I, I think we should wait. Yeah, I don't know. I think we should go explore and see if we can find a brewing stand. Um, okay. I think we're all traded out at this village here. Um, let's see. I'm going to take all this stuff back with me, including the wheat seeds, back to our house. But uh, on the, let's see. It's not too much of a detour, I think, to take back uh, these pumpkins from over here. Uh, yeah, we have a, a second farmer here as well. I hate I hate this. Do I have enough dirt to cover this? No. Uh, I could make a shovel, I guess. Uh, but I think I'll just punch some dirt here. I want to fix this hole. I hate it. I hate the hole. Um, how much dirt will it take to fix the hole? Uh, okay, more than that. Let's keep punching some dirt here. A shovel would be faster, but I'm so stubborn. <laughs> To save on inventory space, I, I, I basically refuse to craft shovels, uh, which is really silly because punching them is just takes forever. Uh, okay, let's see if we how much we can fill in now. Uh, I've got five left. We're almost there. Okay, let's just get a couple more dirt. I need like five more. Okay, that's two, three, four. All right, that should be enough. I think I actually got more than I need. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, let's grab a few more dirt, actually. I'm going to jump down in there real quick. I want to light it up. I want... I hear a skeleton, too. Uh, that's got to be under here, right? Hey, there he is. <laughs> oh, we've got a cave here. Maybe we explore this real quick. Uh, I just got a bone and an arrow. That was kind of cool. Yeah, let's light this up. Uh, okay, we've got some mobs down here. Yeah, I think we'll explore this cave real quick. Kind of another detour. Another unplanned detour. It would be cool if there was a spawner down here. Uh, okay, let's light up this whole cave area. Uh, in fact, I might want to leave a staircase down here because there's copper under here. And there might even be some other resources. Yeah, there's coal. Uh, might, this might be a place I want to come back to. So maybe I should just make a staircase instead of blocking it off completely. Yeah, there's iron down here uh, that I can't pick up. <laughs> I think this is kind of a big cave system too from the sounds of it. There's other mobs nearby. Yeah, there's copper. Let's light this up a bit. I'm not going to explore it fully right now. Okay, I think that's, en I think that's uh, um, enough lighting. Let's take some coal with us if we can afford to. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely afford. I want to stock up on coal. It's one of the things I don't have a stack of yet that I want more of. And this is a perfect uh, place to get it. So there's, I didn't see any cavey bits that go lower here. Uh, I'm sure there is cave underneath, but I've just changed my mind again, and we're just gonna block off. We're gonna block this cave off completely. So many bats here. Uh, okay. Hopefully there's enough lighting in here to keep mob spawning to a minimum. All right. Let's get back up here and block this off. Uh, I think like this. Oh. Uh, I mean, is it such a big deal if they can get down here? <laughs> uh, maybe we should at least block it off to make it safe. Uh, okay, I need more blocks. Uh, here, give me some stone. Oh, I have cobbled deep slate still. Here, let's get rid of that then. Okay, that should do. Uh, if I put... Okay, there we go. So now the villagers, if any, fall down in here. Uh, this should be enough light down here, I hope. And the villagers will be safe, I think. Uh, hopefully I'll hear that they're down here if they start to go missing. But I'm gonna I'm planning to leave it open. Open to the surface. 
Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, like so. And they shouldn't be able to get hurt down there. So, yeah, let's just leave it like that. All right, what was I doing before I got sidetracked? Let's go get the pumpkins. And then I think when this day ends, we need to end the episode. So what should we do next episode? Obviously, we need to return to our base area and continue farming. Uh, we need to load up on sticks and uh, crops, uh, mostly wheat and potatoes, but also carrots too, I suppose. Uh, can I not pick up the melons? All right, goodbye, bow. I don't need the bow because I can, I can trade for a... Uh, Full durability bows quite easily. I think there are only two emeralds as well. Uh, okay. Uh, we could also farm jungle wood if the bamboo's not fast enough. Okay, we got all the pumpkins. Uh, I'm tempted to explore the mesa real... Uh, not mesa, the... Um, the savannah over here real quick to see if there's another village close. Yeah, why don't we do that real quick? quick just just real quick at the end of the episode here and in fact in between episodes i think i'll just head back to the uh head back to our base area that we have set up and uh eventually i'll bring a saddle over here so we can grab a horse and also i kind of want oh there's a desert temple right there you see that <laughs> so now we have even more things to explore in this direction and there's more pumpkins as well uh, okay, so Desert Temple next episode. <laughs> I still don't see a village here in the savannah, though. It's disappointing, really. I was hoping just to grab a brewing stand and bring it back to the uh, the village we have that's closer. Uh, at least we have some pumpkins we can trade. I have to remember, though, don't trade them all away, because I want to start a farm. But I only need a few seeds to get a farm going. Alright, let's pick up all these pumpkins. I think I have inventory space for all of them. Should be less than a stack here. The music is telling me that it's almost the end of the episode. Uh, can I pick this up? Oh, it fell. It fell. <laughs> I'm going to get it anyway. Alright. Um, yeah, the cows too. I want the food. Dang it. <laughs> it just fell right back in my hole. Uh... All right, the sun's setting, but I'm going to just run right over to the savannah real quick and just have one last look over here to see... Oh, ravine. See if I can see a village. Come on, a savannah this big has got to have a village, right? Uh, let me get my bed ready. Oh, it's already on my hop off. All right, well, we're pretty much out of time for this episode. Uh, let me go ahead and sleep before I end it. And I don't even know what day we're on, but we're making great progress. Is it 16? 16, day 16. Hey, there's my bed. Throw it away, why don't I? Okay, which way was I going to look for a village? This way? Do I see one? I don't see one. Come on, village. There should be a savanna village, like, right here. Oh, there's Mangrove Swamp. Um, okay. Well, I'm not getting lucky with uh, Savannah Village here, but next episode, uh, we'll check out that Desert Temple. And as well as that, um, we'll continue farming back at the base. Um, we'll tame a horse, and I guess we'll just keep uh, looking for uh, another village that we can get a brewing stand from. But eventually, we have to come up with a way to get Ender Pearls and... Uh, and I don't know, the getting them from villages just seems like the safest way to do it. Uh, or we could, you know, stop sleeping at nighttime. <laughs> That's another thing we could do. That's one of the reasons that I uh, set our base where I did. Instead of living actually at the village, I wanted to live a little bit far from the village so that if I, if I want to skip a night, I can. Uh, okay, this is the way back to the village, though, and uh, we're all out of time. So thanks for watching this episode of Hardcore 100, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Can't stop running. Gotta keep going. All the way to day 100. Hey, this, those, those horses look pretty good, actually. 
I might grab myself a black one. 